Hello, dear colleagues. I had a bad news. Someone will die till the talk, till the end of the talk. But I hope no one in this audience. But anyway, he will die. Why? Because 300 people dies annually in U.S. states only. 300,000 people is the third reason of death in the United States. And these numbers are always increasing. And the local qualification of doctors is not a problem, it's not the main problem. The main problem is the wrong diagnostic procedures. The second problem is the ter wrong therapeutical and tactical procedures. That's the reason of wrong diagnostic. My name is Denis Makrushin, and I want to increase your attention to the problems of smart medicine. And probably, I hope, the talk will save the couple of lives in the future. And just imagine the conversation between two guys in medical facility. Doc, are you sure that we need to cut my leg? Yes. Our diagnostic equipment shows us that it has no life. Or another talk. Doc, are you sure that I need a weed instead of pills? Yeah, you need a weed. So it happens because our medicine becomes connected. What I mean connected? A huge devices like MRI, like CT, or another big machines like cardiographs connected to the PAX servers. PAX servers, it's something like NAS for medical purposes. Picture a chiving system. And if those devices are not connected directly, they're connected to PCs that are connected to the PAX servers. And of course, all of those devices connected to the internet too. If you try to open the Shodan or Sensis and uh, make some requests like DICOM port, DICOM is a special protocol uh, for communication between two devices, two medical devices. So if you try to Google it, you will receive a lot of interesting information about medical devices that are available online. D DICOM servers, DICOM clients, and probably equipment, like diagnostic uh, equipment. So you will receive about 1,000 results that are potential medical equipment. But some of them is a honeypot, of course, but you can diversify it easily using the Shodan or using score system like honeypot or not, that Shodan .com. So the most of them is a medical equipment. Or you can also Google it using special keywords like medical, clinical, cardiograph, uh, cardiac, uh, etc., etc., with OpenSMB port. And you will receive the infrastructure for uh, medical facilities, like this one. And if you are adversary, you can bring your laptop to the medical facility and you can hack it because you can extract the sensitive information for these computers. Or another example, it's pack viewers. You don't need to bring your laptop. You can compromise the classic web application for doctors, for doctors' purposes because these applications contains uh, the DICOM image, the image from the patient. Or another example, medical intelligence portals. It's a classic web application that has a classic vulnerabilities. So, for example, you can find something like Osiris web portal or Osiris medical portal and you can extract a lot of information because it has no authentication. Just tap on login form and you become the doctor. So you can upload something, arbitrary data. You can download something, arbitrary data, spoof something. So I think uh, it's a bad, it's, it's a worth case. But it is. It's available online. And for example, what can adversary to do with that? He could easily get access to medical information, to patient information. He could bypass it, I mean, not, not a bypass, but spoof it. So to send arbitrary uh, DICOM images, and as a result, uh, someone diagnosis will be wrong. And this is an example what's avail available online for everyone. I think uh, Mr. Rodrigo will be disappointed when he will see his data online. But uh, you know, there's still open-ended question. What about security of medical devices? 
Because this is a classic web application it's, uh, with the classic vulnerabilities. We have checked few type of devices. It's expensive devices and very expensive devices. I mean, host connected, the, just uh, the equipment that could be a host in the network, and equipment that connects to the computer using PC or USB port or something like that. And if you are compromised, the classic network, medical network, you can extract the computers that has connections to those devices, those medical devices, like this one. Then you can easily compromise it because it contains the classic vulnerabilities, classic services, and even the Half-Life engine. You are in the medical equipment, in the medical um, facility. So if you are adversary, what you can do with that? Of course, you can steal the information about patient. Uh, you can spoof the information. So that's why you will get weed instead of pills. And then you can write some ransomware for those devices. What we can do, what we can do to save the world, to save the medical facilities. First of all, if you are a developer, please use the something like vulnerability assessment approach. If you are administrator, please isolate those devices, those computers with medical data from the network in separate segments and separate networks. If you are doctor, please Check twice your results. If you are a user, be healthy. Thank you. Fantastic. That